Tonight on K Nation, get ready for a busy fall. We like just couldn't feel the presence of our fans, but now we actually get to be all up close and personal. Wildcat Volleyball is moving into its brand new $24 million home. This is our training room. We got an exclusive tour of the one-of-a-kind facility producing one-of-a-kind athletes. On the soccer field, being a part of a team is being a part of a sisterhood, but KU Soccer has some actual sisters on the roster now. We've always like trained together, but we've always missed each other by a year. And their ties to KU go deeper than the pitch into the university's roots. I feel like in in Memphis, people don't really know. Like you would mention the name, and they'd be like, "Who's that?" And then you come here, and there's stuff named after him. One of basketball's most anticipated comebacks is in the works. Just to not have to play through kind of the pain. Aoka Lee breaks down her recovery and a stacked K-State women's basketball roster. We won't be breaking any NCAA records tonight, but these athletes and their stories will leave you amazed. K Nation starts now. K Nation, sponsored by 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Welcome to K Nation. I'm Lainey Gerber, and this is a stranger next to me. He's a new guy. His I name is Glenn show. Ginley. I missed one show, and you called me a stranger. I, I am feel back like though. Forever. I got. I'm sure you guys missed me. I got some much needed time <laughs> off though, but I can't be leaving. I guess because when I do, you mix up everything with the conferences. Yeah, things get oh. exciting when you leave. Oklahoma, I'm just Texas, <laughs> leaving, and now. We get Dion. Yeah, Coach Prime's at it again. Colorado will be joining the Big 12 in 2024, a really early entry. Mm -hmm. An OG Big 12 member, the Buffs left for the Pac-12 for 12 seasons. News of their return broke quickly this week. Colorado unanimously votes to move, and then the Big 12 unan unanimously brings them in. KU head basketball coach Bill Self was very open about what this means for the conference. I think Colorado brings others. Uh, uh, I think that uh, if, if we're going to get to 16, I think what has transpired uh, uh, certainly puts us in a position to be the third most powerful league uh, in the country. There you go. And Self says that selfishly, no pun intended, he <laughs> likes the move and he says he doesn't know if it'll bring three more from the Pac-12 or some schools out east or where they'll come from, but he seems pretty certain that there will be more schools to follow. They probably want to at least get to an even number. Definitely. One more would put them at 14, three more would put them at 16. Texas and Oklahoma leaving Colorado, joining the conference currently at 13 teams for now in 2024. We're just kind of refreshing our phones to see if it stays that way. Yeah, really. Well, speaking of KU hoops, the team's about to be on an airplane. Oh, the Jayhawks are heading to Puerto Rico for a work trip slash vacation. <laughs> They'll enjoy the beautiful beaches, but also get some hooping experience. Thursday, they have a matchup with the Puerto Rican national team. And Saturday and next Monday, they have matchups with the Bahamian national team. And the Bahamas has quite the list yeah, of athletes. Some good hoopers. Yeah, you have Clay Thompson, Buddy Heald, DeAndre Ayton, Kai Jones, Eric Gordon, and even former Jayhawk and national champion Ooh, Remy Martin. Be it, fun. It's going to definitely be fun, but it's also a test for a team that's so early in the year. We could have our whole arsenal in, and we wouldn't have enough in to beat those guys. Uh, at least on paper, but it'll be a great experience for us. It's going to be an eye-opening experience for these kids to go against 27-year-old men that actually know what they're doing. Playing some professionals like Buddy Hill, DeAndre, and guys like that, that's going to be great for us to match up against them, and that's going to be a great time. Kevin looking good. Yeah. Looks like he's ready to roll. He looks like he put on some pounds, too. <laughs> he might have bulked up a little bit. Yeah. All muscle, I'm sure. Buddy Hill, of course, he played for Oklahoma and self joked about that triple OT game. You haven't forgotten. He scored 46 <laughs> points in Allen Fieldhouse. He says he's even better now. It'll be a great challenge to try to shut him down. Maybe get another shot. They didn't expect to get another shot at him, but they will. Yeah. <laughs> also, KU announced a home and home series with UNC. So Battle of the Blue Bloods mm. coming their way. North Carolina comes to KU in 2024. Then KU goes there a in A national championship rematch. Roy yeah. Williams will be wearing blue. We don't know which blue. Ooh, Last we'll year, see. Kansas forward Ochai Abaji won the Big 12 Athlete of the Year on the men's side. Each school gets one male and one female nominee. Here's who could win the award for the Jayhawks and Wildcats. For K-State... It's Deuce Vaughn, you might have heard of him, and Emma Robbins, the now Dallas Cowboy running back. He was a consensus All-American for the second year in a row last season. And Robbins, well, she broke the K-State record and finished fourth in the country. 
in the hammer throw. For KU, it's another men's basketball player up for the award. The player of the year turned Brooklyn net Jalen Wilson is nominated. Plus, high jumper Riley Anderson. She finished 12th in the country this past spring. The winners for this award will be announced tomorrow. So right. stay tuned. Make sure you're checking out our website. They'd all win if K Nation was uh, yeah. picking the winners. Those are our top four. For sure, for <laughs> sure. K-State Volleyball entering a new era for the program. New coach and a new facility all for themselves. Yeah, fans are going to love watching games here, but it's also just tailored to the team's needs more than you could probably ever think of. A couple of Wildcats give us an exclusive tour of their new $24 million home. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm Aaliyah, and this is our new home. This is our beautiful arena. We like just couldn't feel the presence of our fans, but now we actually get to be all up close and personal. Hi, Mom! It's very pretty. I like how much purple they used. It's better with the music. This is our training yes. room. This is our training room. All um, Olympic sport athletes can use this, so that's why it's so big. Tables can rise up and go down, and. We got a lot of room in here to do a lot of rehab. This is where it's at. This is our team room. I mean, a ping pong table probably will, you know, get a couple recruits here. This is our beautiful locker room. Purple lights were a nice touch. I think my favorite part right now would be the locker room, just because it's just, we each have like our own little cubby. So then when we're sitting there before like practice or something, it's really nice just like be with my teammates. And it's like our space. Before games, we gotta get glammed up, make up hair. Good so, lighting too. Yes, great lighting and we have a whole bunch of that. And we have top tier showers. Yeah, I know we're gonna be in this room a lot for preseason. Yeah, this is where we'll probably watch film. We want to have like a little movie night too yeah. on the big screens. Okay. They're really comfy. I might be falling asleep a little bit. At my old school it was like we didn't have anything like this and it's just so, it's so cool to be able to just have something that's like brand new and ours and like it kind of, I feel like it kind of brings the community more like together more. If you want to see this place for yourself, you, you can probably soon. Do too. Yeah, I, I want to see it again. <laughs> the team is hosting a scrimmage on August 12th. And the football team's also going to have a little fun. They're going to be out signing some autographs and fans who go to both of those. Well, you could even buy some old K-State gear. Ooh. It's not used and sweaty. Well, it might have been at one point, I don't know. But <laughs> just the excess, the stuff they want to get rid of and make room for some new stuff so you can get your hands on and autographs and some team issued gear. Exciting stuff. Yeah, definitely. Well, we do need a break, even though the show just started. But <laughs> it's don't, my first week back. <laughs> yeah, Glenn needs to save his voice. That's right. Don't worry, we are just getting started. Still ahead on K Nation, the voice of the Jayhawks is calling football and basketball very soon. Brian Haney joins us in studio to preview what he's seen from Jayhawk football and what the men's basketball team is up to soon. But first, these sisters are finally uniting on the KU soccer pitch. Their ties to Lawrence, though, go back a long time before joining this team and an introduction to the Jayhawk lifestyle. It's a little bit different than most. That's coming up. Jefferson's is the perfect spot to watch the game. Come try our new Loaded Max, or pull up a seat at the bar and match our cold draft beer with our new Mac Burger. Find us at 29th and Wanamaker in Topeka or online at jeffersons.com. At Cox Mobile, we know other mobile companies like you to stay put with one type of plan. But we know life can take you anywhere, which is why you get the freedom to choose a data plan that actually fits you and the ease of changing it up anytime. Choose between pays you gig or gig unlimited, all while running on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability. Flexibility feels good. Cox Mobile, we're different because you're different. At Prairie Band Casino, everyone plays a little differently. These guys are playing their cards right. He's trying to hit it big. They prefer to double down. But sometimes you just have to go all in. 
Discover more ways to play your way. Properties that are for sale by owner are typically on the market longer, sell for significantly less, and leave a seller open to potential legal problems than those properties sold with the assistance of a realtor. A home may be the largest and most complicated transaction you'll ever make. Trust a realtor with the ethics, expertise, and education to act in your best interest and guide you through the process. Find homes for sale in Northeast Kansas and a Sunflower Association Realtor member that's right for you at sunflowerrealtors.com. Jefferson's is the perfect spot to watch the game. Come try our new Loaded Max, or pull up a seat at the bar and match our cold draft beer with our new Mac Burger. Find us at 29th and Wanamaker in Topeka or online at jeffersons.com. Well, we love a good siblings on the same team story, but Gabby and Sophie Dawes runs even deeper than just their time playing together. Yeah, get this. The siblings will lace up for KU soccer in the fall for the first time together with some help from a legend. And KU Nation reporter Landon Reinhardt has a story. It's like kind of like a mirror. It's almost like a little family. Family, mirror image, great way to describe Gabby and Sophie Daw, sisters and goalkeepers on the KU soccer team. But believe it or not, this is the first time the two will share the pitch. We've always like trained together, but we've always missed each other by a year. With a five-year age gap, the two were never able to find their way onto the same high school or prep team. Like We would always make the joke like, oh, what if she got held back? Can we would play together. The two didn't think it would be possible, but when Gabby decided to use her fifth-year red shirt, it became plausible. Honestly, we never really like thought about it until she like started the recruiting process. The recruiting for Sophie actually started before she got to high school. She came on like all my college visits with me so she got the opportunity to like see a bunch of schools. She was like in middle school. And KU left a lasting impression on Sophie. What stuck down about Kansas? Everything. The coaches, the culture. It was just, I thought when I would go on other visits it would be the same but honestly it's way different. Now Sophie may not have even visited KU if it wasn't for Gabby. And Gabby, she may not have visited if it wasn't for maybe the most important Jayhawk of them all. Oh, our great great grandfather invented basketball, James Naismith. Yep, you heard right. The man responsible for basketball and the powerhouse that is Kansas Hoops has lineage to the Dawes. But then I didn't realize how big of a deal it was until I came here and there's like that statue of him and then like the rules of basketball and then there's like the street named after him. I was like, oh, this is like a really big deal. May seem crazy to a KU fan, but the first time the sisters from Tennessee set foot on campus was on a soccer visit. I feel like in Memphis, people don't really know. Like you would mention the name, and they'd be like, who's that? And then you come here and there's stuff named after him. Now that they're in Lawrence, the two are rooming together and that true sister bond is still there. Oh, she's my little sister. Of course she annoys me. <laughs> but older sis doesn't hide her love. I was like too excited. I like had to like stop myself. As much as I really want her to come here and to be able to play with her, I have to make sure that she's making the best decision for her. Sophie's alone time will come, but for one season, it's together for the Dawes. In Lawrence, Lynn Reinhardt, K Nation. James Naismith, pretty cool connection to have. And I wanted to say it's pretty cool that she, she, she wanted her here and obviously the family ties, but she just said she wanted what's best for her. She wasn't going to make her come to KU. So Definitely. that's pretty cool. She just wanted what's best for sis. They're more cordial than me and my siblings. I would just <laughs> yell at them and make them go. <laughs> this is true. They would have had an option. Yeah. yeah. Well, the ladies aren't done yet, especially Aoka Lee. She gives us all the details on her year long recovery, her teammates support and her excitement for this season. That's after the break. Honey, what are you doing? What? I just fixed the leaky chimney. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney. We fix leaky chimneys properly. Hi, this is voice of the Wildcats, Wyatt Thompson. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you will be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. For 24-7 non-judgmental support, just call, text, or chat 988. Of course I know the theme song. Entertainment tonight, that's what people want. It's hard to think of entertainment tonight without Oh, I know it! I mean, come on, since I was a little kid. 
entertainment tonight. This is the Bible of show business. Bye. Weeknights at 6 30. You're not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Do you have water damage from storms? Give Certified Fireplace and Chimney a call before the damage gets worse. We'll inspect your chimney inside and out. Then we'll make any necessary repairs. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney today. So much music that feels good. I mean, how could you not sing along to this? Magic 107.7. Case that women's basketball is bringing back Big 12 first teamer Gabby Gregory and the junior trio of Serena Sundell and twins Jalen and Briley Glenn. And oh, by the way, an All American. You said a lot of really good <laughs> names right there. Yeah. Well, Senator Ayoka Lee had to sit out last season after her knee surgery. In the season prior, she set the all-time single-game scoring record at 61 points en route to an All-American finish. Impressed. My dad was there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we caught up with Yoki this week to see where her recovery is at ahead of this upcoming season. Season-ending surgery last year, but you had been dealing with that knee injury for a while. So was it a relief when you finally got the surgery to fix it? Um, yeah, I think like partly it was exciting in a sense to be able to know that when I did come back, that like my knee would be better. Um, and yeah, just to not have to play through kind of the pain. What exactly was the injury that you yeah, had? Yeah, um, it was like a few things, but mostly just cartilage like missing cartilage and then like redoing the ACL again. Losing. So how tough of a decision was it to mm -hmm. come to terms with the fact that you're going to have to miss a whole year in order yeah. to get over all these injuries? Yeah it was tough I think like when you're playing the season goes by so fast but when you're not playing it feels a little bit longer <laughs> um, and you're a little bit more mindful of everything that goes into it so yeah it was pretty hard um, but also needed to happen. After your surgery, was there a period mm -hmm. of time when you weren't seeing the team because you were just yeah. having to recover? Yeah, so I was non-weight bearing for six weeks, so pretty laid up. Before I could walk, we had a team retreat and I got to go on that too, so everyone was pretty accommodating and supportive, so awesome. I wasn't too, like, sad girl. <laughs> yeah. The place we were staying at was super cool. Still super fun just to be with my teammates um, and to have that time with them. Can you kind of walk me through a timeline of yeah. your recovery? Because a whole year off, there's a lot that goes yeah. into that. First six weeks is, like, non-weight bearing, just, like, literally just sat in a machine that like moved my leg for me every day. <laughs> Once I'm weight bearing, it's kind of just getting back into walking well, which is like, sounds super tedious, um, but really important. It's getting strength back, getting, well, first range of motion, getting all my range of motion back, getting strength back. I was able to start lifting pretty early, just like upper body. And then from there, it just is progressing into like, running and like being athletic again <laughs> and like all those things um, which is kind of where I'm still at now. So how was it when you were finally able just to get back into basketball activity yeah. and do you feel like you're at 100% mm -hmm. now? Um, no, this is the second question. <laughs> yeah, still like getting I guess my feet under me and like being able to move kind of well with like a leg that hasn't been able to move for like a year so uh -huh. um so working on that but yeah it felt pretty good to get back into some basketball stuff how did you stay involved with the team when you yeah. weren't able to play last season like our home games um and away games on the weekend just making sure i was intentional about like how i interacted with my teammates having energy on the bench especially for giselle and jamia who were also out last season helping them like get acclimated to like the culture we have and the standards we have. Our team's really close like outside of basketball like a lot of people like like to hang out like we're pretty yeah we like to have fun together so 
um, just like continuing to be involved in stuff off the court too. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. How excited are you to be a part of this team yeah. in this stacked roster? Yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited. I think we, it has the potential to be a really good season. <laughs> All right, Yogi, thank you so yeah. much for your time. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. It. We do appreciate her time. Mm -hmm. She's going through a long recovery, and we all see why she plays basketball, and I don't. She's like that height too, difference isn't is she? She's so nice. Yeah, she's great. All right, shout out to Yoki, friend <laughs> of the program. Hey, coming up after the break on K Nation, check this out. Today's forecast calls for eight to nine KU football wins and one more of these in men's basketball. How about it? We got the voice <laughs> of the Jayhawks, Brian Haney, in studio. We're talking Jayhawk football and Jayhawk hoops after the break. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Dillon's, we invest in local farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Dillon's, fresh for everyone. Ground Shaking Forces return to Heartland Motorsports Park for the Menards NHRA Nationals presented by Pet Armor August 11th through 13th with breakout stars. Tony Stewart Racing has entered the history books and racing legends. John Forrest collects his 155th career victory. Don't miss out on 11,000 horsepower and 300 mile per hour racing action in Joe Pika. Kids 12 and under are free in general admission and every ticket's a pit pass. Get your tickets today at NHRA.com for the NHRA Nationals presented by Pet Armor August 11th through 13th at Heartland Motorsports Park. See that kind gentleman over there? He's fixing my windshield. What happened to your windshield? A rock chipped it, and Topeka Auto Glass is repairing the chips so that I don't have to replace the whole windshield. That had to save you a lot of money. It did. And they called ahead so I knew when they were coming. Finally, a company that cares about my time. Oops. Sports! We have everything that you're looking for at Play It Again Sports. New and used sports and fitness equipment with used up to 50% off retail. You can create your own discount by trading in and trading up. Sell us your gear and get cash on the spot or even get store credit. Play It Again Sports has something for every athlete. All seasons, all sports, on any budget. We're open every day in the Fairlawn Plaza Mall. Game on! At Dillon's, everyone wins when it comes to savings because you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards on pickup or delivery as you do in store. So no matter how you shop, everyone saves big. Dillon's, fresh for everyone. Welcome back to K Nation. Football season is almost here, and this might be the most anticipated KU football season in a long time. Oh, definitely. Even more than last season, which had a lot of anticipation right. before it. But so we brought in a guy to help us break it That's all right. down. Friend of the program, Brian Haney. This is only like your 10th time on the show, but <laughs> thanks for it. joining us. Yeah. You know, it's a blast to be with you guys. And as you said, most anticipated season in 15 years, going back to 2007, 2008. Mm -hmm. And coincidentally, that's the only time in Kansas history we've ever made it to back to back bowl mm -hmm. games. So we're anticipating the same here in 2023. And it's a similar kind of feel. Obviously, last year, six wins doesn't compare to 07's 12 and 1 season. But what is similar is you have a big time quarterback mm -hmm. and a core of players all coming back after a breakthrough season the previous year. Yeah. And that's where some of the similarities really have Kansas fans fired up. They bring back a lot of guys. I think people are treating KU football differently than they have in previous years. Jalen mentioned the, the people at media days. More people were giving, shaking his hand and knew yeah. who he was as they should. What are what's the right expectations for Jayhawk fans? They, they may be a tougher schedule this year, but yeah. I know fans are going to want more than six wins because that's what they had last year. No doubt. And you're right. You guys did a great job covering Big 12 Media Day, by the way. It was a different Thanks. feel <laughs> around Kansas mm. coming down there. Suddenly, our players were in demand. We mm. have the preseason Big 12 Offensive mm. Player of the Year. And so expectations individually for guys like Jalen and Devin are to have outstanding first team all Big 12 type seasons. But for the team collectively as a whole, yes, it's a tough schedule. It's going to be a challenge every week. But unlike a lot of these teams from a decade ago, where maybe you circled three or four win possibilities mm -hmm. on the calendar, you genuinely expect Kansas to possibly win each and every one of these games. And so to me, I think they've got a great shot to win eight games in 2023. Personally, I, I think you start at six as a baseline level and you move up from there yeah. in terms of hopeful win total. Expected win total, I don't know. Yeah. But, but I think we got a great shot at eight plus. Yeah. I really do, sincerely. Mm -hmm. You're around the team a lot. You're at practices all the time. What have you seen from this defense that's just trying to come up and make its name known in this team that has become a lot about offense in just this yeah, past year? It's a great question. You know, we finished 
around 127th last year in yards allowed per game. And I think there's more talent on this group than what meets the eye. And certainly, if they can just be noticeably better at each level, secondary linebacker, D-line, with what the offense is expected to do, this Kansas team has a great shot to win every single week. You just got to be markedly better. I think special teams will be a lot better with Sean Snyder being added to the fold. But defensively, as we enter year three under Brian Borland and some of those great defensive anchor pieces we talked about, I think they can be markedly better. But they're going to have to be if Kansas wants to make that big leap. Even with football season just around the corner, you, you got basketball plans, right? KU, that's wait, right. KU basketball is year-round, right? We're trying to get another one of these, baby. Tell us about what's coming <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, that's right. You know, preseason number one in the country. It's so exciting to think about Kansas football having – Decidedly, the best center in America, I think the best point guard in America, the best perimeter lockdown defender in Kevin McCuller. First two guys, by the way, for those of you scoring a home, Hunter Dickinson yeah. and Dewan Harris. <laughs> right. We should spell this out because I know you've got a few K-State fans watching. <laughs> uh, but we feel like at those three positions, you've got arguably the best in the country. You bring in El Marco Jackson, who's a big-time McDonald's All-American freshman that I think is going to provide instant energy for this team, whether it's as a starter or off the bench. Arterio Morris looks like one of the best mm -hmm. athletes, not just in the conference, but in the country. He's a five-star that transfers in from Texas. Nick Timberlake can shoot the three. Yeah, a lot of There's basketball a lot experience, to like. too. No mm -hmm. doubt, no doubt. So we're fired up. And to get to see them go down to Puerto Rico, I can come back looking a little more tan there like my go. man Glenn here. <laughs> uh, but to see them go down to Puerto Rico and strut their stuff against some legit talent. We don't know for sure who exactly is going to play from this Bahamas national team, but when you hear names like DeAndre Ayton and Clay Thompson and Buddy yeah. Heald, they're going to get tested. It'll be fun. And this is what they need. But I watched them practice against the TBT team and outscore them by 20. So they've had some good tests this summer. Yeah. Cool. Let's see what they can do now down in Puerto Rico yeah. against some real NBA talent. All right, don't have too much fun down there. Hey, we're going to have a blast. Looking forward <laughs> to it. Right. Brian, thank you so much. Have fun in Puerto Rico. Yeah, and you guys stick around because there is more K Nation after the break. Come out to the biggest party in the heartland, the Country Stampede. Headliners include Hardy, Lee Bryce, and Cody Johnson. July 13th through 15th. Tickets and camping on sale now at CountrySTampede.com. Meaningful relationships built upon trust is a founding principle of the trust company. We help individuals and businesses create tailored financial plans and diversified investment strategies that adapt over time to your unique needs. Because we are independent, we can offer flexibility and creativity that many advisors and trust departments can't. If you aren't sure where to start or you're looking to make a fresh start, contact us today for a free consultation. Dear Sharp Curves, don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Cause we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. Right now, get 3.99% APR for up to 48 months on five of your favorite Toyota models. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. How powerful is Cox Internet? So powerful that one day, you'll be able to transform this pile of plastic pieces into a super bot, which could transform you from just Julian's dad into Julian's hero. Get gig speeds powered by fiber from Cox. It's internet built for tomorrow, today. Come out to the biggest party in the heartland, the Country Stampede. Headliners include Hardy, Lee Bryce, and Cody Johnson. July 13th through 15th. Tickets and camping on sale now at countrystampede.com. So much music that feels good. I mean, how could you not sing along to this? Magic 107.7. We were putting together that story of the Daw sisters for KU soccer. We stumbled across some old audio from, if you can believe it, James Naismith. Yeah, well, cool he was that? around when cameras were around. <laughs> we thought it was too cool to not share. So here is the man who invented hooping. One day I had an idea. I called the boys to the gym. I showed them two peach baskets I'd nailed up at each end of the gym. And I told them the idea was to throw the ball into the opposing team's peach basket. 
I blew a whistle, and the first game of basketball began. And now guys make millions of dollars <laughs> yeah, to throw millions. balls into peach baskets. Yeah, it's a little bit different now, but yeah, it's pretty cool stuff, man. It is so cool, and it's it so cool in, that the tides come out here. It started in Lawrence, Kansas. All right, yeah. thanks for watching K-Nation. Join us next Sunday and every Sunday. Have a great night. We'll see you next week. With Kevin, it was confidence and aggressiveness. With Ochai, it was confidence and aggressiveness. With Jay Will, it was confidence and aggressiveness. I never thought that I would be here to see the day. So it was really cool that um, I could really just see everything unravel.